All right, everybody. Quick little video. I just woke up this morning. I had to throw on the old Dan Marino, even though I bleed my Eagles. I'm a sports fan, like I said. For I have my favorite teams, but all in all, I'm just a sports junkie, a sports geek, a sports nut. And I'm wearing this for a reason, which I'll get to later. Let's get straight into my Week 8 NFL picks. Washington on the road in Minnesota. Minnesota 16.5 point favorites. I love Minnesota to win this game. I don't think they'll cover. I think Washington can do enough to keep this game within 10 points or so. Maybe 10, 12, 13 points or something like that. So I got Minnesota to win, Washington to cover. New York Giants on the road in Detroit. Detroit's a 7 point home favorite. I like Detroit to win the game, but I think this game is going to be really close. Uh, the Giants to cover the spread. So Detroit to win, Giants to cover. Tampa Bay on the road at Tennessee. Tennessee is two and a half point home favorites. Tennessee is one of the hardest fucking teams for me to figure out this year, as well as Tampa. Uh, Winston, you never know how many turnovers he's bound to have, or is he going to have a huge game? They put up points every week, though, so I'm going to I'm going to lean Tampa Bay to win and obviously cover since they're the underdogs. Uh, L.A. Chargers on the road at Chicago. The Bears are four point favorites at home. I think the Bears can do enough. I think the injuries on the Chargers defense might actually allow the Bears offense to score more than 3, 7, 10 points. So I, I think Chicago will win this game, and I'm going to take them to cover because I just don't trust the Chargers right now. Seattle on the road at Atlanta. These odds have not come out yet as the status of Matt Ryan is still unknown. He's a bit banged up, so he might not start this week. So obviously that would just have money pouring in on Seattle. I don't care where this line is. As long as the line doesn't go into double digits, I will take Seattle and I will take uh, whatever points that I have to with them. Uh, New York Jets on the road at Jacksonville. Uh, Jacksonville is a minus six and a half, six and a half point home favorites. Uh, does Sam Darnold see ghosts again this week? Uh, who knows? I, I think the Jags defense can get back on track and they can get things going and they, they can take advantage of the, the Jets O-line and I will take the Jags to win by a touchdown, 10 points, something like that. Uh, Philadelphia on the road at Buffalo. Philly and Buffalo, they don't play very often, but Philly hasn't fared well recently against the Bills and the Bills have shown on defense that they can get enough done Josh Allen, I, I don't really trust him as a quarterback after watching him play a couple couple games recently. I, I was a big fan of his, and, and I know overreaction on, on a couple games. Whatever, I'm still going to roll with the Bills. It's too small a spread. They're only one and a half point home favorites. I think the home field advantage should be enough to get the win here. Uh, Cincinnati on the road at Visiting the Rams are technically the home team, but I believe this game is in London, England. So the Rams are the de facto home team. 13 points. Uh, I, I definitely like the Rams to win, and I think Cincinnati will do enough to cover this spread because crazy shit always happens when they're over in England. So I'll go the Rams to win the game, Bengals to cover the spread. Arizona on the road as 10.5 point underdogs to New Orleans Saints. I I have no rhyme or reason for this. I just got a gut feeling that Arizona is going to pull this one out this weekend. So I'm taking big upset alert. Arizona to knock off the Saints this weekend. Denver is on the road to face the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts are minus five and a half points. They're five and a half point home favorites. I think the Colts will win this game. I think Denver's in sell mode all, already. I think they're pretty much giving up on the season. I think Indy wins and covers this game though. Like seven point win for the Colts or something so it won't be a for sure thing by any means nothing is in football though uh Carolina's on the road to San Francisco I think the 49ers can keep their uh their streak going here their six point home favorites I think Carolina will do enough to cover Christian McCaffrey it's hard to bet against him I wouldn't be surprised if Carolina pulls out an up uh, outright upset and I might just I'm going to have an underdog ticket this week. Put it this way. I have Arizona, Carolina, and Miami to win. Straight up winners. That will be my big underdog play this week on Bet365. That's where I get all my odds. Bet365. So I'm taking the Colts at home. I'm taking Carolina to cover the spread. San Francisco to win the game. Um, Oakland on the road at Houston. 
Houston's seven-point home favorites. I am going to roll with the Texans to win and cover the spread. I think Deshaun Watson will do more than enough to take care of this game and the spread. Uh, Cleveland Browns at the New England Patriots. I like the Patriots to win this game, but there, I don't think there's any way they beat Cleveland by two touchdowns. So I'm going to take the Browns to cover the spread, New England to win the game. Uh, Green Bay Packers on the road at Kansas City. I believe this is the Sunday nighter. What a game. Uh, who knows if Patrick Mahomes will play or not. He was already throwing the ball on that fucking after dislocating his kneecap. So we'll see. I am going to assume that... See, if Mahomes is playing, I'm going to take the Chiefs on the straight-up win, which obviously means to cover. If Mahomes isn't, I'm going to pick Green Bay to win the game, but the Chiefs to cover the spread. So keep an eye on the Mahomes situation there for which way you want to maybe roll with that. Uh, Miami Dolphins on the road at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a 14-point home favorite. I like Miami to straight-up win the game. It'll ruin their winless season, and this is the prime team to do it against because... The worse the pick is for the Steelers, that means one of the Dolphins, I believe they have three first-round picks this year, that means the higher that pick will be. So Miami, not a bad game to win if you are going to win one this year. So once again, I'll give you my three upsets. My upset ticket's going to be Miami, and I'm going to parlay them with Carolina and Arizona, and I'm going to take them three on a straight-up ticket. So good luck, guys. Remember, always roll with what you feel. You got to trust your gut in these situations. Gambling is gambling. And the best, the best who do it for a living, the professional gamblers, hit at about 57, 58, 59%. So don't expect miracles. Don't listen to all the nonsense and the bullshit people telling you they hit at 75, 80% every fucking week. It's nothing but lies. Anyways, good luck. Peace.